Hi students, coming to the next topic in the subject compiler designs was operator precedence parsing. So in the previous video I explained about the shift reduce parsing. Now let's see the next concept that is the operator precedence parsing. Any grammar G is called an operator precedence grammar if it meets the following two conditions. So when we can say that the grammar, whatever the grammar we are taken, that is an operator precedence grammar, whenever it follows these two conditions. So what are these two conditions that the grammar has to follow? The first condition was there exists no production rule which contains epsilon on the right hand side. The first thing is there should not be epsilon on the right hand side. Whatever the production that I, we are taken for the grammar, uh, that production uh, which contain uh, does not contains epsilon on the right hand side. Okay. And there exists no production rule which contains two non-terminals adjacent to each other on its right hand side. So whatever the elements that are present on the right hand side of a grammar, okay, so uh, no two non-terminals, non-terminals means it's alphabets, the letters the we are using, okay, so those non-terminals should not be uh, side by side. So if that grammar uh, follows these two conditions, then we can say uh, whatever the grammar that we are taken is an operator precedence grammar. Okay, don't be confused. Any grammar, whatever the grammar you are taken, the grammar is just represented like suppose E tends to E plus E and E tends to E star E. Okay, like that. So, this is an example of the grammar. So, here there exists no production rule which contains epsilon on right hand side. So, right hand side there should not be right hand side this is. Okay, no epsilon on right hand side. And there exists no production rule which contains uh, two non-terminals adjacent to each other. So, the, so these two non-terminals should not be adjacent to each other. Then we can say the grammar is operator precedence grammar. Okay. Don't be confused. If you see the example, then you will get a clear idea about operator precedence parsing. So, the thing is you have to remember these two points. Whenever the grammar is following these two conditions, then we can say that grammar is is in the form of operator precedence grammar. A parser that reads and understands an operator precedence grammar is called operator precedence parser. So, whatever the parser that reads and understands the grammar, you call it as an operator precedence parser. So, let's see uh, which grammar you call an operator precedence and which is not operator precedence. So, so that by seeing this example, you can, you get a clear idea what are those two conditions that we are discussing about. A grammar which is not an operator precedence. Let's see not an operator precedence grammar. If the grammar is like this, we can say it is not an operator precedence. Why this grammar is not an operator precedence? Because the terminals are adjacent to each other. These are the these are the non-terminals. These non-terminals are side by side. E is a non-terminal, A is non-terminal, E is non-terminal. So here the all the terminals are together, adjacent to each other. So that's why this is not an operator precedence grammar according to our condition. Okay, so how you can make this uh, non or uh, not an operator precedent grammar to a precedent grammar? See here. So this uh, grammar is uh, converting by substituting the non, non -ter terminals. Okay, by substituting the terminals, then you'll get an operator precedent grammar. See here. So which is this is not an operator precedence and here this is an operator precedence grammar. So, E tends to in place of A, A, okay, A, A, you, in the place of A, you can write plus, minus, into, divide, and, okay. So, A, E plus C, E minus C, E into E, means in the place of A, you are just substituted these, <coughs> sorry, terminals. So, E, minus the id so we are converted this not an operator president grammar to president grammar operator president grammar so if there exists no production rule which contains epsilon right hand side that condition one has to be followed and there exists no production rule which contains 
two non terminals adjacent to each other so no two adjacent non terminals are adjacent to each other so here these are the non terminals these non terminals are not adjacent to each other because in between that there is a terminal is there the plus minus into these are all the terminals and the non terminals are the letters e a e these are all the non terminals so operator precedence can only establish between the terminals of the grammar so the thing you have to remember that operator precedence can only establish between the terminals between the terminals of a grammar so this is between the terminals of a grammar it ignores the non terminals so it just ignores the non terminals okay so let's see an example so before uh, discussing the example you have to know some rules about parsing uh, actions so what are the parsing actions that we have to be uh, take care while we are constructing an operator precedent parser tree okay so parsing action both end of the given input string add with dollar symbol the first condition is both the end of the given input string whatever the input string we are taken so that input string will be add with a dollar symbol on both sides second now scan the input string from left to right until greater is encountered scan towards left over all the equal precedents until the first left less is encountered everything between leftmost is less than and rightmost is greater than is handled everything between leftmost is less than and rightmost is greater than is handled dollar and dollar means parsing is successful so these are all the rules that you have to be remember while you are parsing the tree okay passing the table so here there are uh, i said the greater less and equal what are those all those things let's see here there are three operator precedence relations or you have to be followed the three operator precedence relations a greater than b means the terminal a has higher precedent than b terminal a has lower precedence than b terminal a and b have same precedence okay so this is the condition let's see how to construct a precedence table so whenever you are discussing about the operator precedent parser the first thing is you have to check whatever the uh, operator precedent grammar that we are taken that grammar is in uh, uh, operator precedence grammar or not and the second is you have to uh, see the precedence relation table so how the precedence relation table has to be constructed let's take some of the not term terminals the plus into okay so these are all the let's see what are the rules that you have to follow while you are constructing the precedence table always think the id a b c okay these terminals should be high precedence they are having the high precedence whereas the dollar okay that is the acceptance string the dollar is low precedence so plus if both of the plus the left hand side should be greater than plus is greater than plus and star star is greater than star and id is not equal to id so whenever the both ids are encountered these are not equal to so you have to please blank uh, place blank there and if suppose two dollars are encountered then your string is accepted a accepted so plus plus is greater so here this plus terminal a has higher precedence than this plus terminal plus star so when compared to plus and star the star into is having the higher precedence so that's why here less symbol plus is less than star and less than greater than id less than and greater than like that so you have to construct the precedent table by following these rules okay so we had seen some operator precedence relation rules and based on the rules we have construct the pre uh, precedence table and we have to we have learn what are the actions that you are uh, to be uh, understand while you are constructing the parsing okay now let's see a simple example by seeing this example you will get a clear idea what is operator precedent parser so consider the following grammar and construct the operator precedent parser so by considering this grammar we have to construct the operator precedent parser the then parse the following string after con, uh, finding out the operator precedence parser you have to parse this 
string. The string is given and the grammar is given. Now we need to uh, construct the operator president parser. Okay. So while you are starting, what are the steps you have to be uh, followed while if you want to construct the operator president parser. The first step contains, step one is you have to check operator president grammar or not. So whether the grammar, whatever the uh, grammar that is given, that uh, that is in operator president grammar or not. This is operator president's grammar or not we have to be checked. Okay. And the step 2. The step 2 is we have to uh, or construct the operator president relation table. Construct the relation table. First convert the grammar into operator president's grammar. Next you have to construct the relation table. And step 3. And the step 3, you need to parse the given string. Whatever the string they are given, you have to parse the string. So, step 4. And finally, you need to generate a parse tree. Generate parse tree. So, these are the steps you need to follow. The first thing is check whether the grammar is operator president's grammar or not. And step 2 is next you have to conduct the, uh, find out the relational table. After, by seeing the relational table, you need to parse the string. So, with the help of the parse string, you need, you are going to generate the parse tree. Okay. Now, let's see the first step. Convert the given grammar to operator president grammar. So, here whatever the grammar that they are given, that is not an operator president grammar. Why it is not operator president grammar? Because here the uh, uh, term, non-terminals are side by side. Okay. So, to replace this, we have to substitute in place of A, the plus and into we have to substitute. So, just substitute the values and make the grammar as an operator president's grammar. So, E tends to E plus E e into e and id okay and coming to the step two okay now the step one i uh, converted the grammar into operator president grammar next i need to construct the operator president's table second step is operator president's table so here what are the terminals and the non-terminals are e a or the non-terminals and the terminals are id plus into as well as the dollar so these are the terminal symbols Okay, so now construct the, uh, only for the terminal symbols, we are going to construct the table. We are not focusing on the non-terminals. The operator president grammar, operator president will just remove the non-terminals, only takes the terminals. So, id plus into dollar. Okay, according to our rules, id is having the highest priority. Okay, id is having the highest priority and dollar is lowest priority. So, whenever the plus and plus are there, uh, plus is greater than plus, okay, into is greater than into, okay. So, id, id is not acceptable, not equal. Id is greater than plus, id is greater than into, id is greater than dollar because id is having the highest priority. And coming to the plus, plus is less than id because id is highest priority, plus is greater than plus. Okay, whenever the left hand, this side is greater and here it is lesser. Plus is always less than into and it's greater than dollar because dollar is having the low priority. Into is less than id, multiplication is greater than addition, multiplication is greater than uh, multiplication and it is greater than dollar. And coming to the dollar, dollar is having the low, low, uh, lowest priority so all are less. And whenever the dollar and dollar is encountered, the string is accepted okay so i constructed the operator president table now step three the step three is we have to parse the given string based on the table so how i'm going to parse the tree so let's take the string as an input string and this is the grammar okay now the stack contains the stack first contains the dollar and the input string id plus id star id dollar Okay, so the first is I have to shift the ID onto the stack. So, I shift ID to the stack. So, after sh uh, shifting the ID here, I need to check the relation dollar and ID. So, dollar ID, dollar is less than ID. So, place less than symbol. 
okay so i shifted id now here plus id star id so from this id and plus what is the relation between id and plus id and plus the greater relation so id plus greater so after that i have to shift uh, sorry reduce the id so id what is id id is replaced with the non terminal e okay so reduce e tends to e produces id so replace id with e so e less than plus id star id and dollar so here why i taken less because uh, you have to check the relation table only with non terminals not the uh, only with the terminals not non terminals so just compare dollar and plus so dollar and plus which what is the relation dollar is less than plus so that's why here less than symbol so now shift plus okay after shifting plus id star id dollar now check the plus and id so plus and id what is the relation plus id less than symbol so just place less than symbol now shift id now star okay so id here will be uh, id and star id is greater than the star id is always having the highest uh, priority according to our table construction so greater than relation now i have to reduce the stack here i want to replace with the non terminal so reduce e id with e means uh, in place of id just place non terminal e this is the equation now shift star when compared to star and id star is having the uh, less priority when compared to id so less than symbol now shift id okay so in place of id uh, id and dollar id is having the highest priority so greater than symbol now reduce e produce id so in place of id just replace with e dollar okay so here input string is empty but i need to reduce the stack also now e into e so according to our grammar e into e is nothing but e so replace e into e as e so again e plus e is tends to e so replace e plus P, e as e okay so here uh, i check the relation between star and dollar the star is greater than the dollar so greater than symbol and here this you are not checking with the not uh, non terminals only with the terminals so plus is uh, plus and dollar the plus is having the highest priority when compared to the dollar so greater than symbol okay so now e so we now we have to check between the dollar and dollar not with the e okay dollar and dollar means accept the string dollar and dollar accept the string a the finally you get the accept string okay that third step is over and the final step for the operator president parser is you need to generate a parse tree based on the uh, stack by seeing the stack table you have to follow the bottom up approach bottom up approach to construct the parse tree okay so just take first e so e is replaced with e plus e so e is again i am writing replaced with e plus e okay in the second step this e is replaced with e star e okay so now this e is replaced with e star e e star e and here this e is replaced with id and finally this e is replaced with id so just replaced with id and finally this e is replaced with id so constructing the pass tree is very easy by by seeing the relational uh, that is passing the string table okay just follow the stack and uh, follow the bottom up approach by using the stack uh, table and construct the pass tree so this is about the operator president's grammar thank you